Grace and peace to you. Did you not know that when people attend religious service weekly and take their religion seriously are le less likely to be despaired, that is commit suicide or overdose from um, drugs or alcohol poisoning when an individual has committed and given their life to God versus those who don't. So there are more people who don't have God that are committing suicide. And so when you look at the, uh, the, the, the national rate of suicide, it is alarming. And we most definitely need to address it. And a lot of things are linked to that. You know, you're talking about depression, you're talking about many other different types of uh, variables that go into play when it comes to that. And a lot of times people are turning to therapists and psychologists, but it seems like that is not working. Most A therapist most likely will not recommend God to you, right? And God is the cure-all and the fix-all in all when it comes to the human soul, the mind and the spirit and the body. Uh, and they also did a study that looked at uh, professors who were psychologists 50% were atheists, 11% were agnostics. So, you know, you're not gonna get too much help there when it comes to redirecting people and saying, hey, maybe you need to consider your relationship with God and Yahweh and start getting things right that way. But people that attend religious services on a regular basis uh, are less likely to commit suicide, less likely to die from overdose of drugs or die from alcohol poisoning and many other things, right? If we get our young people and our children more in the church service and take God seriously, we'll have less gun violence in our communities and so on. So I want you to know that wealth, success, and recognition won't fix it. You can strive for that all you want, you'll get it, you'll still find that you won't be happy. But when you put God first and you prioritize uh, God as coming first, as the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God in his righteousness. When you put God first and you, uh, you'll find that your priorities, your perspective and, and your life and your purpose, everything will be transformed and you most definitely will find peace. You will find joy. Look, I've been there. I've been depressed. I've been at a place who wanted to commit suicide. And the thing that kept me was God. I'm still here today because of God. So I just want to offer you an alternative. All these other things are not working. Suicide is at an alarming rate and no one is really addressing it. And that's the mental health issues. We got to start taking it serious uh, with, with white men, black men, Hispanic men, Asian men. Uh, but especially white men are, are, are really um, overrepresented in that. And, and people that are 65 years and older. So we got to start paying more attention to our elders, right? A lot of times when they get a little older, with myself getting a little older, you feel like you're being kicked to the curve and, and no one wants to uh, see you as useful anymore. And if a person feel that their life is not useful anymore, they're going to eliminate it or exterminate it. So it's time for us to start loving each other, caring for each other, and, and, and getting people to turn back to God, right? We have a society that is anti-religion. And it's time for us to end that because that's why our society is going down. All right, God bless you. Want to share that with you, uh, talking about this uh, thing of people unaliving themselves. God bless.